Well, bankers, business owners, and government officials meeting this week to talk about ways to get more capital into the hands of small business owners. Uh, the groups having different views on whether loans are in fact available. So, what does need to be done to get small businesses back up to speed? Let's bring in Ed Butowski. He is managing partner of Chapwood Investments. Thank you for joining us, Ed. Absolutely. Good to see you. So according to the Small Business Administration, the SBA, small businesses, they make up 99.7% of all firms. They create 60 to 80% of net new jobs. Are they being denied the capital that they need to survive and prosper? Well, I mean, you know, it's a very interesting philosophical discussion because, you know, should the government really be that involved? I mean, you know, are there loans to be had? Of course they are. Uh, there are loans out there, and these companies now or these small businesses are being asked to put up a lot more to get those loans than they did many years ago. Now, some could argue that's appropriate, which I do believe so as well, because some of these banks, you know, have to be under that great scrutiny. So they have to, you know, take care of their own business model as well as trying to help other businesses borrow. Money. So the the bigger question, Heather, and the way you, you phrase it is that should government really be that involved with our businesses? And I don't believe so. I think we got to get the economy going. Then those small businesses will do better. Yeah, and, and when you answer that question, it really depends on who you talk to and what study or right. stats they reference. For example, if you talk to bankers, they'll maybe point to data released by the National Federation on Independent Businesses. That showed the number of employers reporting difficulty securing a loan. They say in that study that it dropped 6% in in May, but then you talk to folks from the SBA, they say outstanding small business loans have declined 17% since 2008. So does it really just come down to the numbers? It, it does. I mean, it depends on, you know, what type of business you're in, what type of growth you're in, what part of the world you're in, or what part of the United States that you're in. So it's not a simple answer. But again, you know, if we get the economy going, maybe a lot of businesses won't need to take out loans. Small businesses, I mean, everybody should go out and hug a small business owner today because it is tough. I mean, I was listening to Leland a little while ago with all the, the screen, you know, all the noise and, and the sirens going off. That's sort of what it's like to be a small business owner today, is that you just have craziness going on between regulation rising costs, rising taxes. It's very tough to be a small business person. Then get your house in order to be able to go get a loan. It's a difficult thing. And those big companies, you know, seem to have an easier time at it because they can float notes and float bonds to finance their inventory. Mm -hmm. So it's, Ed, a, it's a tough situation. But to end it on a positive note, there is some good news. Confidence numbers, you mm -hmm. look at those, the latest numbers for optimism for small business owners, they rose 2.3 mm -hmm. points to 94.4% in May. But here's the Thing. We've been there before. The confidence hasn't stuck. So, will do you think right. that it will this time? Well, I always have a hard time with that confidence number because you can't check out, you know, you can't buy anything with a confidence number. I mean, confidence is nice and optimism is nice and it's up to, up to levels uh, that, you know, we, we've seen before and we hope it sticks there. Uh, but then again, that does not make the economy strong. Confidence numbers and optimism is great, but it doesn't mean economic growth. And that's what we need right now. And you say less, in, less government involvement. I just don't want the government involved with business. I don't remember in my 27 years when we've had so much discussion about business being involved uh, with the government or the government involved with business. Just get the government out of the way and let the free market rise. All right. Ed Butowski, thank you so much right. for joining us as always. Appreciate it. Absolutely.